Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars Alright, welcome back everybody. Beginning part 5 of the Moonbase series. Uh, today we're going to be doing some personnel resupply of the base. Um, but I didn't want to just have it some, you know, two randomly generated Kerbals from uh, from Kerbin. I wanted a one randomly generated Kerbal and also Jebediah. Unfortunately, Jebediah is currently sitting on a space station where he's been for the past five years, ever since the station was started. Um, so what we're going to go do is we're going to go pick him up and take him to the moon base through a long, convoluted process, and it'll be fun. So let's get this thing into orbit, and I'll meet you guys when I get there. And here we are, pretty close to the station. Start burning now. I'm actually looking forward to getting Jeb off this station because he's been, he's been there for a while. You know, no one wants to be on a space station for for five years. So now, instead of going home, he gets to go to another base away from home, a lot farther away from home this time. And we're approaching. I expect it to start lagging quite a bit because the station is rather large. Eh, frame rate's going down. Hopefully the uh, the lag bane helps a little bit. Right, slow down. Gotta figure out which end we're docking on. That was almost perfect. It just drifted right in. All right, now we're docked. Um, let's see. Where is Jebediah? No matter, I'll just... He's smiling. Of course. What else would he be doing? He gets to go to the moon today. He's already been to the moon a lot, but now he gets to go live on the moon. Uh, so let me get him over there, and then I'll probably do an off-camera uh, resupply mission for just to fuel up this... Uh, ship that he's going in but uh, and then other than that we'll be able to head to the moon all right oh there we go and I will refuel it and I'll be right back all right got the thing refueled time to get the heck out of Dodge let's no let's undock And just slowly dipped away from the station. Looks like we're going to get a nice uh, morning undock. Should be cool. Let's back away. Slowly. Gently. And, uh, let's see. Let me make the uh, maneuver real quick.
Ooh, sunrise. We seem to be missing a Kerbal. Hmm. Oh well, no matter. Oh, actually, I think I know what the reason was. Um, sometimes the game likes to make duplicate Kerbals, which uh, I think there was one of them on here that was also on this craft. So, um, nah, it's no matter. Won't be a problem. I think I'm just going to start my burn now. station. Alright, and I will meet you guys once I get up to that orbit. Alright, approaching the station, um, and we will be docking through a specialized kind of docking port of sorts that I have designed. Luckily it has lights because it looks like we're going to be coming down at night. So let's do the usual in time accelerate and it should pass within well, a very close distance of the you know, 0.2 kilometers the, the planner said. So that's pretty cool. Let's just get aligned so we can burn when ready. Okay. Closer, and that is 0.2 kilometers, but I think we can get a little closer. And let's just stop here. Actually, I'm just going to use RCS. We have a lot of it. And there we go. All right, let's point ourselves at the thing. Well, it looks like we're not going to be docking at night. Hmm. That's docking for you. Alright, and now, um, I don't I don't recall if I have uh, displayed this thing before, um, the station I mean, um, but if I did, it 
didn't have this yet. Um, and this over here is my what I'm calling the super heavy lander, um, or just the heavy lander works too. But um, these landers over here, they only hold two people and one of them has to fly it back up. This holds four people and none have to fly it back up. So it's a personnel transport. However, downside is that it is um, heavier and uses more fuel. So I, I'm going to try not to use that very much and use use these ones just for basic thing. I, I don't know. I just really like the idea of a of a station in lunar orbit with reusable landers. I don't know. It's just pretty cool. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Uh, let me get Jeb and uh, I'll pick, I think, I guess it's going to be Macron. He's the one who came up. Anyway, so Jeb and Macron and we'll put them in the lander and uh, we'll go down. This is fun. Okay, transfer it over. Ready to undock. Let's do that now. And we are now in the heavy lander. Let's back up. Ooh, should have planned that a little better. We're going to have to wait until we get back around, but no matter. All right, here we go. Ready to burn. And coming on down to the moon base. Let's kill lateral velocity. Which the uh, Poodle engine does pretty darn well. That should be pretty almost, almost perfect. Pretty almost perfect. Hmm. Orient. Let's change the uh, camera. Let's turn on the lights and put down the gear. Preparing for landing. Oops, heading back up. Can't time warp.
That's whatever. Let's see. Arch over there. All right, down and safe. Let's turn off the lights to maybe try to get rid of some of this lag. I don't know what it is about the moon base, but it suddenly started lagging on me. I'm not too happy with it. But anyway, we have the two guys here. And let's get Mr. Jebediah to his new home. Ah, Jebediah doesn't need ladders. Let's just fly him over there. If I was really using the infrastructure, um, I would go grab the rover and bring him over here, but, uh, nah. Now, bringing Jebediah to this base will do either one of two things. It'll make the base incredibly great, or it will doom it to dying in a fireball. We'll, f we'll find out whichever one that is eventually, I, I presume. All right, and let's get now the rover. Macrod. Macrod, trying to be cool like Jeb, also flies over to the moon base. Since every astronaut in the Kerbal Space Program is trying to be like Jeb. Some more successfully than others. Put this guy in the uh, rear module. Oop, overshot. All right. And Moonbase now has two more staff. Uh, now we wait for the station to come back around. We'll bring the uh, lander back up. But uh, that's not too interesting. So I'll just end the video off here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, appreciate your continued support. And um, I guess subscribe if you want to continue watching the Moonbase series, which seems to be our current um, most high-traffic series right now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.